I'm on a little bit of a road trip today and one thing that I love to do when I go on road trips is try to find like out of the way little thrift stores as I'm going through these towns in Florida. I try to look out for like not Goodwills, not Salvation Armies, just little mom and pop type thrift stores. I find that sometimes you can get better deals. Sometimes there's different things to look at and different things to see. So anyway, um, I'm about like an hour and a half away from home and I figured on the way back home, I would hit a couple of these thrift shops and see what I could find. And I actually just found this little like hole in the wall shop over here. It looks pretty interesting. So we're gonna run in there and see if there's anything cool. Hi there. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good. Yeah. Fill a bag of Christmas free. Fill a bag Christmas oh, for free. Yeah, let me know if you need a bag. Alrighty, thank you. Starter jersey. Cool. Some hockey jerseys. That's cool. A little Florida Panthers jersey. Too. Oh, well, that's super cool. 2007 Disney hockey jersey. It's pretty cool. Old Disney World. That's sweet. Do you have prices on the those uh, hockey jerseys back there? Well, I can get prices. Is the hockey one you're interested in? Yeah, I like okay. this one yeah. and the Disney one. All right, let me ask. And I guess that um, the White Sox one too, that's cool. That one's 19, 19? half off. I know that. Okay, you said everything was half off? Yes. Okay. That's a nice printer. Sealed. These are super cool too. There's two of them. 20 and 30 before the discount. 20 and 30, okay. So it's 10 and 15. Okay, cool. How much is this printer? I picked it up. Over here. Oh, it's $30. 30? Yeah, so this would be 15? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm just going to start making a pile at the front. Do that. Okay, cool. Put it in front of the counter. Thank you. Shout out Veggie Tales. <laughs> yeah. Used to love these as a kid. Oh, it's like a That's cool. That's pretty cool. Annie, that's cool. Oh, 1981 Annie Thermos. Tony Stewart.
Okay, thank you. This is all uh, cards. In This is cool. I'm gonna ask how much it is. Allie has a vintage Christmas tree, and this is like a 1979 Muppets ornament. So if it's cheap enough, I'll grab it for Allie. How are you? Uh, good, I think I'm about ready. Okay. I wasn't sure about this one. How about five and a half off? That sounds great, thank you. So that's one of those times where I think it's really good to have a lot of knowledge on a lot of different things because Wow, there's so much stuff in there and I, sometimes I just don't know what I'm looking at. And you know, we've been doing this for years and years and years. I think I have a lot of knowledge on a lot of different things, but it tells me or it shows me that there's still so much to learn. It's crazy. Like, I don't know enough about sports cards. I should probably learn more about that. Um, there's just a lot of stuff to learn about. Um, the only things that I ended up buying was the, the printer, new in the box printer and I bought the uh, Florida Panthers hockey jersey. I think those were good buys. They were $15 each. Um, I feel like, you know, we'll definitely make some decent money on them. But yeah, what fun that is going through a store like that that just says, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good mess. <laughs> it's a lot of cool things to look at. Um, I'm gonna head back home now and maybe I'll stop at one more thrift store and see if there's anything else out there. Oh, but let me know, like leave a comment and help me gain more knowledge. If you guys saw something in there that you're like, why would you pass that up? Let me know so that I can, for the future, I can know to look out for, for that stuff as well. So leave a comment if you saw something that was like, man, you should have bought that. Found another little off the trail thrift store, so. I'm gonna run in here and see if there's anything cool. This is a pair of Salvatore Ferragamos. You can kind of see like the logo on there, but it is rubbed off. And unfortunately, these shoes are not in very good condition, but this would be a good buy if they were in good condition. Vintage Toltex tag and the graphic is Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee, vintage t-shirts. It's nothing too special, probably like a, I don't know, a $10, $15 t-shirt. And here's another one. This one is a vintage Carnival Cruise Ships t-shirt. Pretty cool old Carnival tag, double stitch on the sleeves and single stitch at the bottom here on the hem. Again, I'm not gonna buy this, but cool vintage t-shirt find. Hi, girl. Hi. I got you a thing. I actually got you two things. <clears throat> Here's thing one. Oh my God. That's awesome. Cool, right? Yeah. 70s. Oh my gosh, it's so old. Yeah. Made in USA. Um, Got you these. Oh shh. <laughs> That's amazing. Right? What? I'm afraid to open them. Like 1992. Are you licking me? Are you licking me? This is so cool. I want to open them and see what they are. Yeah, definitely open them. This is hilarious. <laughs> I've never, I didn't even know they made fern gully cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> they were only a dollar. I thought it'd be a cool little. That's so cute. I wonder if I could make it like little ornaments out of them or something. All right, so I thought we could kind of like end today's video just showing you um, how we get this printer listed on eBay and on Amazon. The, the cool thing about this printer is I checked our Amazon seller account and I looked it up and it has a decent sales rank, it's not amazing, um, but it, it has a sales rank where it will probably sit for a little bit, but then it will eventually sell. But the cool thing is we are ungated on this item on Amazon. What that means is that we are allowed to sell the brand in new condition. So we are ungated to list this printer on Amazon. So in this case, which is rare, I'm gonna do what's called cross posting. I'm gonna list the item on Amazon and on eBay at the same time. And then when it sells on one of those platforms, I'll just end the listing on the other platform. We don't typically do that because we have lots and lots of products and it becomes kind of hard to manage. I know a lot of other people do like to do it, but for us, it doesn't usually work for our business model. Um, but in the case of this item, 
I thought I would give it a shot doing it that way. So just a couple quick tips to get items listed fast on eBay. One thing that I like to do sometimes is just take the item out to like a nice flat surface on the concrete outside, use natural light. One quick tip is to use square picture mode eBay and Google both like square one by one aspect ratio pictures, but I'll just like find a good spot with a solid background because I'm gonna be removing the background later anyway, either using like the PhotoFuse app or using eBay's built-in background remover tool. So just take some pictures, take them all in square mode, get at least four pictures, get pictures of any like flaws on the box, get pictures of the item specifications, show that the box is sealed, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty basic stuff. So once that's done, another tip is to find a listing on eBay that's either sold or for sale that has sold items on it and do what's called sell similar. So click on, I would like to sell one like this and it'll pull up an eBay listing basically as a draft. And what that does is you're using something that is already working. So if the item sold that same way, it's kind of replicating that listing, tweak the title, change the item specifics so that they are perfect. And then from there, just put in the rest of the information, choose the price that you want, upload the pictures, use the background removal tool. Right now it's only on mobile, I believe. And I don't know, I think it's on iPhone and Android. I haven't really checked. <laughs> but yeah, you can use that background removal tool. Or like I said, another good app is PhotoFuse. I think it's I think it's free. But I'm showing all that because I wanna kinda like encourage you guys. I wanna lead by example here. You know, we don't wanna build up a giant death pile as they call it. Um, when we get items in, it's better just to do the work. The work that no one really likes to do. Like we don't, none of us really like taking pictures and listing the items, but it's something that's necessary to get your profit back or to get your investment back and make money. And in the case of this printer, if it sells for full price or anywhere close to full price, it's gonna be a great profit. Paid $15 for it and We've listed it for $300 on eBay and over $300 on Amazon. Also, we are doing merchant fulfilled on Amazon, so we're not shipping it to an Amazon fulfillment center. We do do that sometimes, um, but usually when we have multiples of one item. When there's just one item like this, we'll just ship that out ourselves. But that is the process. It's pretty quick and easy. You don't need anything too fancy, a phone, some natural light, use the tools that are at your disposal, and it's really not that hard. So hopefully that kind of encourages you guys to get out there thrift across America and see what you can find. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video and subscribe. We're gonna keep doing lots of videos like this, trying to travel more as we go into 2021. So join the community, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I'm Ryan Roots, peace out guys. Thanks for watching, appreciate it.